Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to make items that allow players to catch monsters and allow them to fight with them in battle. First, we'll need to make some switches. We'll go to our event mode, click a spot, black diamond, tab 1, control switches, the scroll, make a switch named monster attempt, and a switch for every monster. Name it already caught, and then the name of the monster. Click apply and OK. Now we'll need to make some variables. Go to tab 1, control variables, the dropbox, and create one variable named monster HP and one variable named monster name. Apply and OK. We'll now go to our database cogwheel, enemies, and create an enemy. Choose all the specifications like HP and give it an image. Apply, then head over to common events. Make a common event named monster catcher. Under it, go to a black diamond, control switches, monster attempt, and set it to on. Click OK when you're ready. Once your common event is ready, go to your items. Make your monster catcher item, a name and image, regular item, consumable, occasion battle screen, no scope, and make sure your common event is activated. To do so, click a square, click a row, other, common event, your common event, and OK. When this is done, you can apply. Now we will make a class for each of our monsters. For this tutorial, I'll make the bat class. When you have the skills and the traits, apply. With that done, we can go to troops. Add the monster you want to be caught in this group. Under conditions, choose switch and monster attempt. Click OK and OK. Under span, choose moment. If you want to make it so that your player can only catch a specific monster once, go to your black diamond, conditional branch, tab one, switch, you're already caught for that monster. Make sure it's on and create an else branch. Then there on the black diamond, under already caught, you would show text and let the player know it's already been caught. Under that, we will control switch, go to our monster attempt, and put it off. Then click OK. Remember to skip this step if you want to allow your players to catch a particular monster more than once. Once this is done, or you choose to skip this step, under else, you make a conditional branch. Set the switch to monster attempt. Tab one, control variable. Choose your monster HP, game data, enemy, the name of your enemy, and HP, and click OK, and OK. The next few steps will be based on the enemy's HP. My bat has 500 HP. So under control variables, I will make a conditional branch that says, Variable monster HP equals 500, the maximum amount. Under that, show text, and I will let my player know that they have failed since it has full HP. Make sure your conditional branches all have an else branch. Under capture attempt failed, I will control switch and turn off monster attempt. You can copy the whole branch and paste it in the else branch up to the amount of possibilities you want. I will make sure I have three in all. The first one I'll leave alone. The second one I'll edit. Change my 500 to 400. Change to equal to, to greater than or equal to, and click OK. Then I will change the last one by right click and edit. To greater than or equal to, zero. Then click OK. I will change the second one's text and my last one's text. Then give all three an animation. We'll put our animation above the text. So we'll double click on the text, tab 3, show battle animation, and an animation to show that you missed it. I will choose darkness 1, OK, and there's our animation above our text. I'll cl double click our text again, tab 2, timing wait, and put 30 frames. I'll apply, then do the same for the second tire. Double clicking our text, tab 3, show battle animation, either our miss, like I will do, or a different animation to show that you were close. OK. Click our text again. Tab 2. Wait 30 frames. Lastly, I will do the same for the third one, double clicking our text. Tab 3. Show battle animation. But change the animation this time to an animation to let our player know they've caught the monster. I would choose glowing light. OK. Click our text again. 
tab 2, weight, and 30 frames. Once this is done, we will click our control switch monster attempt off on the last tire, tab 1, change variable, change it to monster name, OK, add, and then 1. OK. Once this is done, double click your last monster attempt, control switches, and already caught for the creature, in this case bat, on. To make the monster vanish once you catch it, double click the text you caught it, tab 3, change enemy state, the name of your enemy, add, and the state knockout, then click OK. And once all this is done, you can apply and OK. Now, you will need to make a parallel event on every map that has the potential to catch a creature. You click an event spot, under conditions, variable and monster name, greater than or equal to 1, priority below character, and trigger parallel. Now you'll make a conditional branch with an else branch. Set it to be if and the name of the switch of the creature that was caught. In this case, conditional branch switch already caught bat. Okay, okay. Give some text to let the player know they've caught the creature. I put bat caught, then double click the row, tab 1, change party member, and add the creature. Some more text asking the player if they want to name the creature. Double click tab 1, show choices. Yes and no. You can apply and okay. Go to didact base cogwheel, and make sure you have an actor set up for your creature. You can catch. In my case, bat, give it a face, a character, and an SV battle image, and then give it the class to match it. In my case, bat bat. You can apply OK and go back to our event. Under name bat, and under yes, we can double click, tab 3, name input processing, the name of our creature, and OK. Under that, we double click, tab 1, control variable, and then a monster name, set it to 0. Then under no, simply copy and paste our control variable monster name 0. Once all this is done, you can apply and OK. I've made a few chests with our monster catcher item in it, so I can have it at the start of the game. Once all this is done, you can test your game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. I will gather my items and then go for a battle. Going to our items, we see our item. When we use it with full HP, we see our animation and our attempt fails. If we weaken the creature a bit, then try again. We get a different message. Once a creature is weakened enough, using the item again will catch the creature. After the battle, our event will run. We can give it a name. And it is now in our party. That's the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. Also remember to check out our Patreon to support us there. Leave a comment if you have any ideas about any tutorials I should make. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.